thinking a lot about recently, but I think that is a really, um, I think, excellent answer to that. Uh, meta structures for structuring the, the magic 45 minute um, experience yeah. into, into multiple chunks. So uh, no, that, that is really exciting to hear. I, I feel like, um, I, I don't know if that was intentional, but thinking about it now, having played a little bit of Overland, I feel like I, um, uh, and having played a bunch of Pandemic Legacy, I, f I feel that connection really strongly in, in retrospect, thinking about the design of Overland, uh, which is great, which is really cool. Yeah, I think in, in a cruel twist of fate, Beck and I have played an enormous amount of Pandemic and have never played Pandemic Legacy. So what? <laughs> all of the design of Overland is uh, us imagining what Pandemic Legacy might be. Oh my God, this what? is so cool. And it off of that. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man, you hey, don't have not, it's Adam, really good. I, I don't <laughs> Pandemic Legacy might be my all time favorite board. Like like I, I hope you've uh you've earned some uh I think time off to play this game. Uh I, I think you're gonna really like it. Yeah, I feel like at this point you maybe shouldn't play it. Like whatever it is in your head over these years. <laughs> right. I don't think I don't think it's gonna let us down. I think like um I I, I think unless you've played a lot of pandemic, it's probably I think it's likely not terribly obvious when you pick up Overland that this is like basically a pandemic fan game. Fan game, um, but um, sort of all of the like rapid burn down, sort of negotiating against the clock, kind of logistics, uh, you know, mood. Um, that's uh, pretty rapidly. Like we started to figure out, like, oh, this is. Uh, you know, this might have started with XCOM and 868 hack, but it's like rapidly um, modified itself and become just like uh, kind of, yeah, wanting, wanting to find that thing. It feels like so many games of the last decade, but like the best parts of them and somehow you managed to make them work together. Because at some points I was like, it feels like XCOM. Oh, wait, no, there's no random hitting. Mm -hmm. It's not XCOM. It's this game or then you start being able to push things and it's like oh it's kind of like into the breach and it's kind of like so it's kind of, it's kind of like spelunky like the, the meta structure is around that and it's uh it, for me it's fascinating to play that and like think back on the things that have happened in the last 10 years in game design right and see how elegantly you combine them um i think it's a fantastic game thank you thank you yeah, it's a good place to end it. Um, thanks so much, Adam, for coming on the show. We've been wanting to talk to you for a long time, but I uh, wanted to be patient while you finish while you finish the game. Uh, so thanks. For uh, it sounds like it sounds like y'all had plenty of stuff on your plate too. So, um, no, this is great. Thank you again, um, and our thanks to Becca and everyone else at Finji. We're we're all big fans and play a lot of your games. So, thank you, thank you, Andy. Did you have a baby yet? No, not yet. Still not. Actually, we're in. Jeanette and I are in, uh, no, in November, uh, the second to last month of Pandemic Legacy. And we're kind of thinking we might still finish it for. <laughs> well, we probably won't see you next episode, Andy. We'll see how that goes. Um, we'll see. We'll I'm see. just going to announce it here, and you can correct me, uh, Zach, if you don't if you don't want to hear. But uh, we're going to talk to you, Zach Gage, uh, about your game, Card of Darkness. Uh, yeah. Really good. So when everyone is uh, a little too frustrated by Overland on Apple Arcade and need a break, you should hop over and get frustrated by Card of Darkness um, and just go back and forth. I'm going to say the, the playable chunks of Card of Darkness is per perfect between feedings, so I think I'm going right. to try to be on the show. Right. We'll see. We'll <laughs> um, also, I wanted to get real quick here. We got a fun email from uh, Ryan Sullivan a little while back, a real quick thing. Uh, back to Splunky, who just said, my six-year-old just explained how he fed the hired hand to the man trap due to the propensity of the hired hand to shoot him accidentally. Thought you might like to know. So uh, I'm glad this is being passed on to the next generation. Thank you, Ryan, for the letter. <laughs> um, cool. So we'll see everyone in a couple weeks to talk Card of Darkness. Um, again, available on Apple Arcade. Uh, send us some questions you want us to talk to Zach about. Um, and thanks again, Adam, for joining us. And we'll see everyone in a couple weeks. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, th thanks, Adam. Thanks a lot. This was really fun.